In Diablo 2, while most of the information you need is fairly easy to get, there's still a decent amount of hidden information to be dug up. Today we're going to look at a handful of things Diablo 2 doesn't tell you about the Paladin and his skills. As usual, we'll start at the most well known and move our way up to something that may change how you play your Paladin alongside Amazons. Number 1. Probably the most well known out of these is that concentration boosts blessed hammer damage, but only at half the rate. So if you have, say, a 200% concentration, it only boosts blessed hammer by 100%. This is the only aura that can do this for blessed hammer though, so you should probably use it. Number 2. Another commonly known one by veterans, but one most new players won't run across, is despite Holy Bolt doing magic damage, it will actually damage even magic immune undead as it negates the magic resistances on them. As such, it can be pretty fun as a little trick for dealing with the magic immune mummies and zombies if you aren't wanting to go into the melee range. Number 3. This one will often catch new players off guard, especially in areas with a lot of poison or curses, and that is Cleansing's effect on shrines. Unfortunately, due to how the game works, curses and shrines are considered the same as far as how they're applied, and as such, skills like Cleansing will actually reduce the duration of the shrine. Number 4. Paladins have a unique feature of getting passive bonuses from their auras, even when they're not active. Specifically, four auras are important for this, though. The individual resists auras, resists cold, resists fire, and resists lightning, and then blessed aim. In the case of the resist auras, each hard point into these gives a passive increase to the paladin's maximum resistances of that type, meaning at 20 points invested, the paladin's maximum resistance to that element can be 85% if they have the gear to get it up that high. For blessed aim, a similar buff occurs, but it is a 5% increase to attack rating per level, so that 20 points invested it will provide a 100% attack rating boost. These are all without actively using the aura. Number 5. Holy Freeze's slow effect is very weird. It can slow cold immunes, but there's actually several random enemy types that are unaffected by it, some of them actually not even cold immune, so they can still actually take cold damage from the mercenary attack or your attack if you're using Holy Freeze. That said, it's still impactful enough that it's one of the best mercenary auras to have in the entire game since it still works on the vast majority of enemies, it's just a handful that give it trouble. Number 6. Sanctuary. It sounds mediocre to most people on paper, but maybe it would be good for clearing out undead areas you'd think, with that attack rating and damage boost versus the undead, and the ticking magic damage? The problem there is, it doesn't actually provide any attack rating boost or actual damage boost despite what it says, though it does let your attacks pierce enemy undead monster physical resistance, that's a mouthful, for a little more damage just not in the way you were expecting. Number 7. Smite deserves a whole video of its own. There's so many things that do or don't work with it, some of them feel expected, others feel arbitrary, but for this we're actually going to look at the most obvious and probably the most overlooked aspect of Smite, and that is what weapon you use with it has a major impact on how it performs, since the attack speed and range of your shield is actually based on the weapon you're using with it. So a fast weapon means a fast Smite. A range adder 2 weapon will reach further than a range adder 0 weapon. These are kind of the main reasons why Phase Blades, Berserker Axes, and Scourges are so popular as far as weapons go with it. Number 8. Probably the thing on this list that the least people know about, and that is Blessed Aim again. Except this time, it's Blessed Aim and the Amazon skill Penetrate. If you're actively using Blessed Aim, even if it's a level 1 Blessed Aim, you will override the Amazon's Penetrate ability, in some cases reducing their actual attack rating significantly. It's very odd, but potentially annoying overlap, and one reason why I rarely use Blessed Aim in multiplayer, especially if there's an Amazon. And as usual, we have a bonus here in case people didn't know it, and that is that Holy Shield also has the advantage of greatly improving block speed far beyond what most characters can reach, and that is one of the reasons why it is so powerful, since the slowest block with it is 2 frames, which is insanely fast. You can actually get to 1 frame fairly easily. So definitely use it if you're a paladin. If you learned something new from this, hit that like button, and if I miss one of your favorite hidden aspects, mention it down below.